Okay, here we are. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're doing okay. Just want to show you this job today. It's a roof cleaning job I'm doing today. It's a bit of an awkward little job. So I thought you'd like to see how I tackle it anyway, how we get on with it. Um, with the magic of video editing, I'm going to show you the before. I've already started the job, but <laughs> I just wanted to introduce the job to you and show you around. Um, this front section is quite straightforward. I've been using the pressure washer, my favorite way really to clean the roof. The tiles are good and solid. Um, this type of tiles, they are quite grubby and dirty. There's not masses of moss, but there's particularly a lot of black spots and white lichen as well. So um, I've been going over some sections twice, giving it a good go. Even then it's not all gonna come off. Um, but it's all gonna be treated with a soft wash chemical afterwards as well. So uh, explain that to the customer. The customer knows how it's all gonna work and that will gradually, uh, it'll be killed off by the chemical and weather away in time. Uh, there's a couple of awkward sections round the back. So on this side here, there's a flat roof with a section and some solar panels. And then on the other side, it's very tight for access. I'm not sure yet whether we'll be able to get the scaffold up there or not. And then over here, busy working away because I've cleaned this front section here, that's all done. And uh, of course, all the mess ends up in the gutters mainly below. So I've got Owen here with me, who's been helping me out on a few jobs now. Say hello, Owen. Oh, hello, welcome. <laughs> uh, he's busy doing some of the cleanup stuff as well. He's going to be cleaning out the gutters with his with the atom here, and um, yeah, doing some of the horrible cleaning up work behind me. So all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a tough job, uh, but he's doing well. <laughs> Thank you. 
So here we are, managed to set the scaffolding up here on this flat section of roof. Uh, it's a little bit awkward to the side, but because I'm nice and tall, it helps if you can get a little bit above the surface. Uh, get me a nice angle to be able to reach up here. A little bit awkward around the solar panels here, but I'll just reach up and round with the pole should reach up there, I think. Here we are, show you what I've done. Set up, I've brought all the scaffold around here. We've got the pressure washing hose here, all the kit ready to go. So we're gonna have to set it up so we go up there. But look how tight this is. It literally just fits almost exactly owen is going to stay that side of the scaffolding we'll make it work somehow. where the machine is set up around there so you're going to be in charge of the machine yep <laughs> we need a walkie talkie yeah we do so owen will be one side i'll be inside we'll build it up around me and then owen will pass me the pressure washing tool start the machine for me there we are so that's the plan we'll see we'll see how it goes good and about halfway up and now you can see the scaffold in position you can see that there's no way round I can't squeeze around the sides I can't squeeze through to get in and out of the scaffold I can even when I go down to the ground I'm trapped in so um, this is the only way to do it in this tight space okay here we are we made it so I've just got this to clean this little corner up here.
we go. It was a bit tight, but I managed to do it. Uh, the problem is, I've just got this wall directly behind me, so there's no room behind me to reach back with the with the pole usually you reach behind me to some degree so all the time I've just got to be holding it in front of me and adjusting it just adjusting the length all the time doing a little bit at a time but um, yeah there we go no one's ever going to see it actually <laughs> it occurred to me halfway through cleaning it that no one's probably actually ever going to see this part of the roof <laughs> but um, anyway at least you know it's clean now and uh, we'll treat it with biocide as well. Make sure it stays clean. There we go, mission accomplished. <laughs> Where would I be without Owen? <laughs> stuck, stuck up a scaffold with no one to help me, probably. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So I think that has definitely got to be one of the most awkward spots we've ever gotten into for roof cleaning. <laughs> but that's often the case with roof cleaning. The hardest bit, I find, is so often getting the access. Um, whenever I quote a roof job, that's the first thing I consider really is am I going to be able to access all around the property to get to the different parts of the roof. Um, but yeah, glad to have that bit out of the way on this one. We're pretty much there now. So we're just packing up the scaffolding because we're done with that now. And um, <laughs> we've got to clean up this alleyway. It'll be the toughest job now. Um, yeah, the final touches, cleaning up, tidying away. Okay, so we need a bit of PPE, personal protective equipment for applying the biocide. I've just got these masks, show you these. These are chemical safe masks. Um, they're actually single use masks. Got these from M Store. Big shout out to the M Store recently. So I thought I'd give these a try. Kind of foam, yeah, got a nice little foam on the inside. So they fit nice and snugly. And then these nice long elastic straps which really easily you just thread through here. Really simple. And also got some nice chemical gloves, chemical resistant gloves. Look how cozy these are. Nice and snug. Probably a bit warm for summer, but um, comfy anyway. M Store sent me these for protective glasses. That has got to be the coolest bit of PPE I've ever had. So, let's go. So there we go, we are just about done. Done a good job there. Um, it's, the roof has been a bigger transformation than I thought actually. It's turned out really good, really brightened up the roof. Um, so it looks really fantastic. We've swept the flat roof up the top here. We've treated everything with biocide as well. So that'll kill off any organic growth that is left behind. Those white lichen spots, they'll all weather away now. Um, so the roof will continue to improve um, but it looks brilliant really pleased with how it's gone Owens works really hard doing all the cleanup yep. 
We didn't really get much footage of Owen cleaning, did we? But no. part of the roof cleaning job, we always clean out, up everything after because it makes quite a bit of a mess. So we've cleared out the gutters, of course. We've even washed down the fascias. Uh, make sure there's no muddy sort of mucky marks on, on any of the guttering or fascias. Uh, we clean the windows, rinse all the pathways, the patio, that's all washed down as well. So yeah, the cleanup is a really important part of the job for us. Um, so Owen's taken charge of that today, done a really good job. All I've got to do now is get the rest of this scaffolding in this van. What do you reckon? It's going to be a tight squeeze. Hope you've enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe. A subscribe. Yeah, give it Why a subscribe. Why not subscribe? <laughs> I never say that. I should say that more. Yeah. Take care. See you soon. Why you keep the